in their sleep. Some people even eat in their sleep. Feed me. Some plants do, too. all the low-fat ice cream. All ten gallons of it. Oops. Sometimes you just can't tell the truth. I bet it was the Skid Row burglars. They must have broken in looking for a late-night snack. Burglars? I'd better go lock up my leotards. Did you get something out of the fridge? Oh, sure. Blame the plant. Gosh, I'm sorry, Junior. You know, it really isn't fair of me to always suspect. Seymour? Make a sign for the window. Special on roses, slightly damaged. I'll get right on it, Mr. Mershnik. Oh. It's your own fault your tooth hurts. You should have brushed after eating all that ice cream. Oh. Why didn't you tell me that last night? Why don't you admit you ate the ice cream? You lied to me, Junior. That wasn't a real lie. That was just a little green lie. Oh, at least I didn't tell my mother that burglars broke into the refrigerator. That wasn't a real lie. That was just a little white lie. Lies! Big ones, tall ones, lies! Little bitty white ones, lies! Discreetly clean ones, lies! Veggies or green ones! The truth is sometimes hard to swallow. Some people bend it and make it hollow. Exaggerate it, eradicate it, imitate it, and downright fabricate it. Lies! The art of deception. Little white ones can change your direction. Lies! What's your perception? Lies make the imagination run. I wonder sometimes where they come from. One lie leads to another and like bad chicks. They stretch like rubber. They come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. Six of one, a half dozen of the other. So what's the meaning of a fallacy? How about a fable told creatively? And as Pinocchio knows, lies can get you in a jam. Word, like a con man. You know, running a scam. So don't take it for granted everything's true. Cause even I could be fading you. Lies, big ones, tall ones, lies. Sometimes the truth not very appetizing either. Ouch! Seymour, have you gone crazy? Uh, sorry, Mr. Mushing, it's, it's just uh, I've, I've got a toothache. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm screaming. My tooth hurts. Ooh! <laughs> that, that's an echo. Can you prove that? Why haven't you gone to the dentist? Are you afraid, or do you have something to hide? Has anyone actually seen your tooth aching? And where were you on the night of January the 16th? Are you all right, Audrey? I'm asking the questions here. I know, but, but why? I've decided to become a lawyer. Would you like to sue your tooth for pain and suffering? <laughs> Lawyers everywhere. 
but they still can't lock up those Skid Row burglars. I thought I made that up. <laughs> now they're stealing the headlines. Mm -hmm. Enough already. Zemo! <laughs> How can I read with all this noise? What is that? Lunch already? It's good for my sore tooth. Yuck. Need salt. Seymour, I want you to go to the dentist. I can't stand listening to you suffer. Oh. oh. Not when it's so loud, anyway. Now you're getting me in trouble with Mr. Mushnick. Me? You were the one who told him you had a uh, toothache. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. oh, Seymour. Uh, 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 uh. That tooth still bothers you? Well, deliver these flowers to Dr. Driller and then take the rest of the afternoon off. Gee, thanks, Mr. Mushnick. You can thank me later. If you still feel like it. Ah! Hi, I'm Seymour Krellborn. I'm here to deliver some flowers to Dr. Driller. Sure. That's what they all say. Have a seat. The doctor will be right with you. He probably wants me to deliver the flowers in person. Some people hate going to the dentist's office, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Unless the dentist has a son like pain. God, Zeus! Next! Well, Seymour, open wide. But I'm not here for an exam. I only came to deliver. That's what they all say. You need braces, Seymour. Not braces. It can't be true. Why does the dentist always get the grief? Everything he tells you needs with disbelief. And you all think he makes a killing that he's pulling at a drilling for the money. Uh -uh. But when he's giving you a bill and your breath is what is killing, it ain't funny. Uh -uh. Whoa to the dentist, so misunderstood. Only thing he wants to do is do you good. But you forget to brush, always munching something sweet. Between every tooth, you leave half of what you eat. You bring on your own pain, and then you turn around and blame the dentist. Whoa to the dentist, so misunderstood. Only thing he wants to do is do you good. But you forget to brush, always munching something sweet. Between every tooth, you leave half of what you eat. You bring on your own pain, and then you turn around and blame the dentist. Poor dentist. How can I need braces? I have straight teeth. They just look straight because your head is crooked. But don't worry. We can fix that, too. I just need to find the proper dental appliance. It's bad enough being a nerd without being a nerd with tinsel teeth. Hello, weenie. <sighs> Open wide, Seymour. Gadzooks! I'm surrounded! We may have to stretch your mouth a little to make this fit. Seymour, lost another patient. It must be my headside manner. You asked for it, Wiener. Uh, I'll hold that. Time to go, Payne. I'm starting to lose my patience. What about that Weenie, Seymour? He didn't come out this way. That's what you always say. Do you think he's in here hiding in my trash can? We'd better leave Underbite in the office tonight. I hear these Skid Row burglars like to steal appliances. I still think I made up those burglars. Looks like I gave Dr. Driller the brush off. Gad Zooks! I'm Doggy Dental Floss! Oh. <laughs> 
the old saying, starve a cold, feed a toothache. So what's keeping you at the dinner? Gee. You better get your bud down to the shop and feed me, or... Oh, no! It's the Skid Row Burglars! Hi, we're the Skid Row Burglars. Help! Seymour! I don't believe the Skid Row Burglars are really there. You don't? Why not? Because I made him up. He's smarter than I thought. He must think I'm really stupid. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do you see, Bruce? I don't know. My breath's fogging up the window. If it hurts the true, try taking nourishment through a straw. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa! I almost strained my chloroplast. How do these humans do it? It's the Skid Row Burglars. I thought Seymour made them up. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. There's nothing here but a bunch of dumb plants. Dumb? What's with the bird, Bruce? Thought you said this was a flower shop. This thing just flew out of my head. Yo, Cactus, that old green magic is what I wrap to start a Vegemec medical spinal tap. Pull him out! Pull him out! If you didn't want him there, why did you stick him in? Give me a boost, Lenny. <laughs> Yo! Was that enough of a boost? <laughs> You're not much to look at, are you? Lenny! We're burglars, Bruce! We're supposed to be quiet! Yeah! Oh, I feel like yesterday's chewing gum. Bruce! Bruce! You were running from a flower shop! I didn't run out. I got spit out. How's a plant supposed to defend himself when he's got a toothache? The Skid Row burglars are trying to break into the shop. You already tried that, Junior. You'll have to think of something better than that to get me back to the shop. I'll be right over. I hope. Never sneer dental floss again. Does this kind of thing happen to everybody? Run, 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 run. If I got to the little shop, I guess I should have believed Junior. Where is that weenie? I bet he's not even coming. You were right, Bruce. It can talk. 
You guys must be out of your heads of lettuce. Everybody knows that plants can't talk. Step aside, get off my tip. There's a new kid in town, you better get a grip, cuz. All that shines don't mean it's gold. You can't believe everything that you told. Cause in the Vegazoid, there's only one way to be. So get real, just listen to me. What's real to you may not be real to me. Some people believe in what they see on TV. Now I'm here to school you, not to deceive or fool you. So peace this out, I hope I get through to you. There's much more to life than what you think or feel. Hey, yo, bust this, G. It's time to get real before you get clipped. Watch your back. Cause it's easily snipped, cultivated, and ripped out like a root And even stepped on by a sucker's boot So don't be fooled by lies and deceit You gotta get real if you wanna compete Take it from me, the veggies or them see Hey yo homie, it's time to get real in the place to be So don't be fooled by lies and deceit You gotta get real if you wanna compete Take it from me, the veggies or them see Hey yo homie, it's time to get real So don't be fooled by lies and deceit You gotta get real if you wanna compete so take it from me, the Vegazoid MC. Word. It doesn't just talk, it can rap, too. A plant like that must be worth a fortune. <laughs> I'm just a creeping figment of your imagination. This is just a creeping figment of my imagination. Too much top spin. Oh, Keep your oh, dirty oh. hands off my oh. potting soil. Oh. He must be talking to you. I washed my hands this morning. This plant ought to be worth a ton of green. And I'm not talking lettuce. I'm just imagining this. Whoa! What are you? Some kind of clinging vine? Ooh. Ooh. My eating tooth. Come on, flesh for brain. Your flat food next. Ouch! It looks like they're dog food. <laughs> I sure do have a vivid imagination. We're innocent, I tell you. He means we didn't do it. Whatever it is. That's what they all say. You broke into the little shop of flowers. You stole the headlines from my father's paper. I confess! He did it! I object. These men are obviously innocent. They are? We are? Because they don't exist. That's why. Yeah, we don't exist. Somebody made us up. Is that person in the courtroom today? He did. Yes, I did it. I made them up. Why did you make them up? To keep from telling my mother the truth about who ate all the ice cream. And who really ate your alleged mother's alleged ice cream? It was him! Out of order. I never ate any ice cream. He's making the whole thing up. Is it true? Are you making this all up? Yes, it's true. All right, so I made this whole story up. You know, that's the trouble when you start telling lies. Before you know it, you don't know what's true and what isn't. See what I mean? Prizes, prizes, and more prizes. You can win a family trip for four to Universal Studios Hollywood or a $1,000 KB Toy Store shopping spree. To find out how you can win, keep watching Fox all week. Like Monday, see Beetlejuice take Lydia's class on a field trip to the Netherworld on an all-new Beetlejuice Monday afternoon here on Fox.